Welcome to the three hour live stream. We're doing artwork selection. Basically, I am looking for help from you, whether you're seeing this live or um, later. I'm looking for feedback on pieces that I have made over the last 20 years, basically, or 15 years. And uh, for each work type, frame, finish, or trash, and help me decide which ones, um, you know, what I should do with, with each piece. I'm going to be going through about 100 drawings, and I'm also going to do this next week, a week from today. Um, and the idea is I'm going to, I'm going to present a drawing um, and to kind of just let people give some feedback on that. Cool, David. Well, I'm really glad that you um, are here now. Um, hopefully you can stick around for as long as you can. But I'd love to have your feedback on some of the drawings um, and paintings. Hello, Brian. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. I'm glad that you're here as well. Um, so, th so the format is going to be kind of similar like that. Um, before I got start get started, I do want to plug the, um, especially since um, for those uh, David and Brian, um, I don't know if you voted yet, but the, the current um, childhood drawing tournament is up. Um, and you get to pick between these two. Um, for those that are not aware of this um, tournament, um, especially if you're new to the stream, um, I'm do I'm, I went through all of my childhood drawings um, over those last couple of weeks, and I've been I picked out some of the projects that I liked the best, um, sixteen of them, and I am putting them in a tournament and having the patrons decide which. Um, project I'm going to recreate in 2021 um, and how I recreate it is going to also be determined by the patrons so um, the one that's up for vote this week is the Billy Soccer League versus a battle game um, basically I was inventing fighting games um, since I was in grade school and um, basically ba based a largely on arcade games and then I also um, played a lot of like solitaire games. Um, and there was one specifically that my dad invented that me and my brother played all the time. Um, and I modified it into um, a soccer version. Um, and so that's what the Billy Soccer League is. So each week I'm having a different vote on um, these kind of things. And we'll see which one ends up at the end. And then I'll be recreating it in 2021. So it's going to be pretty sweet. That's my plug for that. Um, but super excited to have have people here. And again, I'm gonna have this available um, as a video so that I'll be people can. Um, Cause I know David, you said you um, only sticking around for a bit, and Brian, you'll be in and out. So um, if there's other pieces that you want to make sure to. Um, have feedback on you'll be able to like um, either watch the full stream or just jump around you know like scroll through and see the picture change because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feature the picture up here and I'll move it and kind of discuss it a little bit and then I'll just keep these cycling throughout the entire time um, and basically if no one if no one decides that the piece is really worth um, keeping or working on um, beyond, you know, what it is, then I'm just going to get rid of it. Because for me, um, even if it has a connection to me, um, I have s so many drawings, plus I have a ton of canvas and stuff to start new ones. I don't necessarily need to keep this kind of like baggage of old work around if I don't need to. Um, so, so I really am excited to get feedback from you guys so I can kind of like start, um, whittling down some of the the collection um and hello took glad you're here welcome welcome um this is great oh let me get let me get everybody's uh emotes up uh anybody every emote that anybody that shows up will get their emote on the side for so i got sarah 
Durian's at work, so she's not going to be here. Durian's off. Tuck, you are here. Brian here. Where's David's? David, did you? I I thought I did a. Um, oh, you don't have one yet. Okay. Yeah, I think the colors are sweet. It's funny because I ended up. When I was doing yours, Took, um, I liked the colors a lot, so... Oh yeah, ninja, you, you can select Ninja. Here, I'm gonna, just for the time being, this is, this is David's, um, my uh, nephew David's uh, Ninja. I'm gonna use that for you for this uh, stream, but I'm gonna make you a custom one. You get to pick your colors. So David had black and gray. Um, you can pick your, your colors and I'll, I'll make you one for the next time. And again, if I get up to 50 followers on here, then I can actually do some stuff with the emotes. Right now I can only just put them up on the screen, but once I get 50 followers um, on Twitch, then I can actually plug these in and you can actually type your own name in, hashtag your name, and it will pop up with your, uh, um, with your emote. So that's going to be great. Yeah, oh yeah, Took, I was saying that your colors inspired me when I was doing my, so if you notice on my Twitch page, um, down below there's some graphics, um, and I was working on that the same time I was doing yours, and I really liked your color um, selection, and so I pretty much used that same selection for my graphics, so that's kind of a cool, cool little thing. And um, um, so this this was a piece I thought that was a good, this is a good, like, on the fringe one that I thought people might not, like, because I also don't want people to be scared to say that they don't like a piece of mine. Um, that's, I want, I don't mind, um, basically, because it's, you know, everything's subjective, and I also need to be eliminating some stuff, so don't feel um, like I'm going to be offended <laughs> at all if you say trash to any of them. Um, like, this is a good example of one that was, really just an experiment and it's pretty abstract and I could see I don't really know what I would do to continue working on it so it's not like a good candidate for finish and I you know as far as I I don't necessarily it could actually go sideways actually it might look better that way um but you could uh so this is one where you could vote on um you know frame it finish it or trash it and um and I'll take that into consideration. So then I'm just going to have it up there for a minute or two, and then I'm going to be removing it to the diff to the side um, to get rid of it or to put it in a pile to keep it. So I'll have a, f a couple different piles going. And in the test um, one I did yesterday, I was able to go through a big stack, but I'm going to go through all of them um, more than once. So, um, and like next week I'll be going through them again because basically... I want to get as much feedback from people as I can. I think that might. I guess that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I know I'm gonna have to be adjusting this because um, each one's a different size and stuff. Um, and the blowout of the color is a little bit concerning, but I'm not sure I can really do a lot about that. All right. So feel free to um, start with this one if you guys want. Um, give your hashtag on what you think. Um, David, you think it's a keeper? And I can also, like, some things are going to be easier or harder to either frame or ship. Oh, yeah, and, and patrons also... Um, you have rewards month next month. So, um, and especially depending on your level, um, well, it doesn't actually matter what level you are to claim something, but, um, but if you're a lower level, you have to pay for it. If you're a higher level, it's, you, you can, it's part of your rewards. Um, but so like something like this, some of them are easier or less easy to ship and frame. So that's something I can discuss as well. Okay. Thank you for David. I appreciate that. 
and um but patrons can so like let's say you really like this one and you want it to be part of your rewards if you're a, a patron you can say i'm claiming that one and it will go into a pile for you and we'll figure out how to get it to you um for november um especially you could do it for a gift for somebody um things like that um shipping things it probably would be shipped unframed um hello phil welcome welcome Glad you made it. Yeah, f frame, finish, and trash. It should be up on the corner of the screen there. <laughs> Good to see you, Phil. Phil, you didn't select an emote yet, right? Because I don't think I have one for you yet. Okay, I'm going to... Uh... No, that's okay. You get to take your time. I'm going to I'm going to put this one's going to um oops. This one's going to be for you, Phil. You're a masked. Your your emote's unknown. You're masked. There you are. That's you're the blue one. That's actually that's actually mine. So you're uh you're wearing my mask for this stream. Um so sweet. Okay, so I'll move on. If you know, if, if if there isn't like a consensus, I'll move to the next one. So this, uh, um, but I will ex be explaining because you know it does make a difference. Um, oh yeah, as I was saying, like if we frame stuff up, um, it can be harder to ship. So sometimes framing it. Um, like if somebody claims something, you might not want to frame it yet until you get it because it's a lot cheaper just to get it um, shipped to you. So this one's actually on some um, paper, so it's really easy to ship. So that's not a bad one. And it's just ink and watercolor. Um, this was actually part of um, when I was doing about 20 drawings a day back in Jamestown when I first moved, or not in Jamestown, this is when I moved to Unity, when I first came to Maine. Um, and so this would be frame, finish, or trash. And this, because it's watercolor, this one would be a little tricky to finish, to add too much to it. But I actually could go in with um, acrylics and I could um, work on it some more. Um, but again, because it's on the paper that's more suitable to watercolor, it might be a little tricky to um, finish. You like that one for a frame, Brian? Thank you. Yeah, I could see this one. I could see this one framed up. All right. I'm gonna keep it relatively fast. Um, and one of the big reasons for that is just so that I can, uh, we'll get through a lot, but then also um, I'm going to have to, cause I wanna make sure that the video afterwards, people will have an op opportunity to scroll through. I will be doing prizes today. Um, I'm also gonna have you guys vote on what prize you'd like to win. So whichever um, thing um, you would like to win will be um, voted on or uh, will be a drawing. So this is part of the Masked Hornet series I did. Um, this one was, was kind of a discarded one. Um, I I didn't like the, the relationship between how small the wings were, like the heavy of the body and the, and the tail. I just didn't think it was um, well weighted, but I was really big into those uh, masked hornets for a long time. Yeah, Tuck, I, I, uh, I understand that one too. Okay, good, good enough. Thank you, everybody. All right, this is actually just a. Uh, 
This is just on really loose paper. It's more of just a sketch. So this isn't really something, um, it's just a figure model drawing. Um, I don't know what, it's not going to be framed basically because it's on, um, oh man, yeah, the canvas killer should come out to do a, hmm, maybe I'll have to do a burn or something. Meh, yeah, a meh one where it's like, finish. Yeah, because this is unfinished. It being a sketch, um, it might not even need to be voted on because it's, there's not much I can do with it. So here's some, just some blackboard I have. This is material. I'm trying to get my... But this isn't. This is also just more of a show off one, because um, it's on. This actually me and Sarah did together. It was a collaboration. It was pretty fun. We were just doing. Um, yeah, I'll probably. I might just take a picture of the the figure and. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think there's there's nothing I can really do with it. I don't think. Um, yeah, this one this one turned out pretty good. Um, again, it's on that uh, cheap paper, which is kind of too bad um, because, um, oh, here was a, a class I taught to Uncle Billy teaching to my nephews. Check it out. Wow, did you see the color change on that? Um, we were drawing ninjas and I had, uh, I had the kids name their ninja and they named him Chopfinity plus 11. <laughs> Which I thought was hilarious. And the fighting ninja popcorn. Obviously sideways. But that was really fun. And then we drew flowers. And dinosaur. So that was a that was some zoom art classes I was doing. Yep, so that because these are all intact in the uh, sketchbook, I can just leave those um, like that. All right, see so what we got next. Blank paper. All right, got some good paper. And some neon. Yeah, that doesn't come in as the right color on there. We have some cardboard as well. Well, it's exciting to have some of this really nice paper. All right, here we go. Next one up. So this is actually on some decent paper. Um, <laughs> finish and frame all of the uh, Uncle Billy drawing. Yeah, so David, great, great question. Um, if, yeah, if people really liked the, any of these enough to become like, like I don't have a design for Nove the November card. So if there was a specific design or one that you really like, I would, um, I really like the idea of making one a card. So I, that's such a good um, thing to be thinking about. Um, if you see painting or does drawing that you really think would be awesome it can actually be nominated for that so good question yeah it's got a nice fish going on great took says keep um I, some of the, i remember i worked on this a couple different times and all right we got a bunch of uh keeps on this one um, I remember I did it, I did a couple drawings on this and then I went over it so you can kind of see the, the multiple faces. Um, each time I did it, I kind of did added another layer. You can kind of see some teeth back here. So originally I had uh, this face back there that I didn't really like. Cool. Okay, I'll keep that one in. I guess I'm gonna put a keep pile over here. Although that's, let me see, that's not a good spot. I'll do it over here. 
So these are the... Okay, next one. This, which really has a hard time with those lighter colors, but... Yeah, I could see that foiled up. That would be cool. That might be worth... Uh, so I'm making notes on, so any anytime one seems, if somebody nominates it as a possible uh, foil um, card, I will um, make a note of it, so. Can I keep on that one? Yeah, I wish the colors, it's really blowing out the colors, unfortunately, a little bit, but it's a weird one. All right, multiple keeps. Okay, next. This one is, I imagine this is going to be really hard to see, but if you, yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell this, but there's actually Homer Simpson's face in this. Um, you can see it kind of in this box, but it's actually the whole thing is Homer Simpson's face. So if I scanned this, um, let's see if I can show you cl closer. Um, it's got a lot of hidden imagery with cross hatching. Um, if I scanned it and actually went, oh, now you can kind of see, if you see that, you can see the eyes and the nose of Homer here. Um, I did a whole series of stuff based off of Homer. Um, and I could actually color it on the computer, um, in like very classic Homer Simpson type of color. Um, and there's a self portrait in the corner. Cause it's kind of like where the signature would be. And then you'd be able to see Homer a lot better. Um, so this might be more of an unfinished piece. But let me know what you think. If people think it's not worth my time, I, I will just, I won't work on it. Hello, chaos me. Finish, yeah, I think finish is a good uh, is a good sol solution to that one. And David's uh, questioning. Phil likes it how it is. Yeah, it's interesting, black and white. It's really hard to um, to get a good view of it without uh, like this. You can't really tell. It looks like a maze though, which I like that. It looks like a maze. Okay, I'll put it in the uh, maybe pile. All right, here's a drawing. This is a maybe to do something with. And as for the giveaways, um, I'm gonna have, you can either select a P, we can either um, have a giveaway for PBL Robots, the card game I designed, or um, Teddy Spider the Pin, um, which is right up, right up there, right there. Um, that can be up for a prize. Um, and we'll do, we're going to do a couple at the end of each hour, we're going to do a giveaway. So, um, let me know what, oh, and also one of the foil prints you can also, maybe I'll just have a, do a giveaway and let people, a person select which prize they want. Kind of like last time. Um, that'd be good. So no real reaction to this one. Um, maybe it should just be given away, get gotten rid of. What do you think? I like Phil. I like your idea of doing like a, some kind of symbolic, maybe a fire for the pieces, um, that don't make it. Maybe I can, after I go through 
the three hours today and three hours next week. Um, maybe I'll do a canvas kill stream. That would be awesome. That's a really good idea. So you guys start thinking about um, ways in which I can destroy these because the ones that don't make it, um, maybe I'll do a fire or destroy them somehow because one of the performances I used to do, um, still do occasionally, is called the canvas kill and I would destroy pieces of art. So this is a, it's a purging process. Um, and if no one votes on this one, I'm gonna put it in the trash pile. All right, this one's going. Okay, this one, check it out. Kitty. Not sure what is the, I guess they're just like pieces of grass. Well, I'll, I should be able to clean that, but. <laughs> Leave them out in the winter and see how slowly if they decay away in the cold. Oh, to keep. Yeah, this one makes me laugh too. There's actually... So I have a whole series of these cats that I was doing. Um, the Wicked Cats. You like that as a frame? That's awesome. Yeah, this one This one was specifically made me laugh really hard. And I was just, I was having so much fun. I've got a, a few more of them that I, went, I found yesterday. I'm gonna pull up the cats real quick. See if, show you the series. Where the cats went. Where did the cats? Oh, here they are. So here's Wicked Cat number two. And then Wicked Cat number three. Hold that one over here, actually. So I was trying a bunch of different things. I still like the idea of doing an, uh, a, another series of these. The Wicked Cat series. You like this number two? Kind of like, I think of it as like, a, people like uh, say it looks like a citrus fruit, which I always think is funny. So yeah, those are those are three. I actually had made I think I made six, but the other three are sold. Um, so I'll keep them I'll keep them together as a series. You like number three? Awesome, Tuck. You can claim any of those for rewards, um, especially for the gold lover rewards. You um, those are things that will be. Well, for, it's for any patrons can make a claim, um, but if you you actually get um, some of those larger pictures, as so keep that in mind as you're seeing it. If there's one that you really like, um, you can just claim it right now, and then it goes in your pile for a rewards month, um, and I'll figure out how to ship it. This is uh, part of the when I was making Cyclops babies. <laughs> All right. So I think this is Yeah, this is when, this is when my, um, okay, I think this one might be going. That's trash. Thank you.
for the votes on that. Um, check this one out. So this one is, um, th this one's a little bit of a story piece because this was the day I remember I was in college at Winona and my granny died. Um, and this was kind of my response to it. Um, and I, I think there's a definite ugliness to it, um, and raw miss to it but it really it was me trying to express how I feel about losing a loved one and not being able to be there you know and stuff like that it was I, I have never um, had you know like a, it's always been a difficult um, grieving and loss and concept of life and death kind of thing has always been a struggle um and obviously pass when loved ones pass that's a time when that's really highlighted so this was kind of a yeah it might be a keep for myself just because it's it's really an exploration of me rather than anything else and it wasn't meant to be something i wanted to um you know it was, it was a healthy place for me to grieve on on the actual piece it's also really not traditional of my, you know, a lot of energy marks, you know, some collage. I usually never do that. So, all right, keeping it. Um, all right. Where am I going to go? One of the biggest challenges I have with the pastel ones is that they are such a mess. Okay, put it here. All right, next up. Oh God, almost lost him. Get your knees on paper. Kind of a guru. Oh yeah, he got a little bent, sadly, in the move. This is part of the watercolor series I was doing. Um, oops. Um, just ink and watercolor. Claim? That's great. Took, it's yours. Okay, let me write. Okay. This one can this one can be an uh, an easy trash because it's just on the back of a cardboard, but I'm only putting it up because it's the last time it will be seen. Whoa! You okay? What was that? I have no idea what that was. I have no idea. Oh, the socks. Clothes in the closet fell. Oh, okay. Jeez, that was a weird noise. <laughs> yeah, we had a the we have a room that's just a closet room, and the clothes fell down, and it made a really weird noise. Um, yep. So I'm getting rid of this one, but one last view. This is your this is your last chance, guy, to say hi, and you're gone. I do like my signature on it. Good signature. It's a uh, one thing about my signature is that it's never exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, it actually had a, it actually sounded like a horror, very, very much like a horror movie sound. Honestly, it was kind of scary. Okay, so here's a. So I was doing an Audubon class. I was teaching just kind of like studying uh, Audubon's drawings. So I never got this finished. Um, just colored pencil. Um, I, I was just really um, trying to celebrate um, doing animal drawings in the style of Audubon. Yeah, and I don't know if I even have the um, original picture. Yeah, that might be a finish. Okay. Put that over here. 
<laughs> and oh yeah, there was one kid that loved when I was teaching in Jamestown. He loved the Titanic, and he drew, and he drew drew it constantly. And he was constantly and he was great at it. He was really good. He was always asking me to draw the Titanic, um, and so I did for for him. And I thought I gifted this to him, so I'm not sure um, why I still have it. But I just watched some documentaries on the Titanic. I still haven't seen the movie. And then this is these are actually um, ones that I had. Um, I think I took some of these for the pin competition. None of these have to be voted on because they're in a sketchbook. If they're in a sketchbook, I feel like they're, unless people want them to be framed, I don't really need to, they're so much easier to store. Although I would, I have over 80 sketchbooks here, so I do need to downsize those as well. Here's a, for all our ninja fans out there. This was like, I was one, I was a, yeah, President Ninja. So I was thinking it'd be good if we had a, a ninja president. And it's funny because uh, now the masks, it's it's kind of like, uh, well, keep the book. Yeah, I think, I think this might be a, a keeper sketchbook. Here is one of the first um, drawings of the teddy spider um, way back. Notice that he's got extra legs, nine legs on this one. Um, anything else in here? No. Okay. I think I'm going to get rid of the Titanic. I don't really need that. But I will keep the book. So sketchbook can go where? Somewhere. I'll put it up over there. Okay, next. All right, well, so this is... So the only reason... You don't have to necessarily do the um, voting on this one the same way unless you want something out of here. Um, either to claim or to keep. Um, but I do think it's good to show some of these, I think, if it's the sketchbook I'm thinking of. Um, I'm just going to go through these kind of quick, so that's actually sideways. Um, geez, look at the transfer on that. Really got smushed. Oh, so some of these are my figure drawing classes. Also sideways. And this was... I guess I was trying to do it. This was going to be a ceramic piece. It's just sketches for that. These are kind of my... Uh, um, stuffed animals that have face paint on, face painted stuffed animals. Um, I think I called them the ultimate collection or something like that. Cause it was a little bit inspired by the ultimate warrior, but mainly just face paint, but that was a good way, to, good thing to call it. I thought that guy is cute. Yep, so if, if there's anything that you really think I should take out and frame, I've considered framing these before, but also I've made them into prints once and they didn't, they weren't super popular. So I was like, eh. Yeah, it took you like, do you like, which, which one, the blue one? This one here? <laughs> awesome, yeah. I like this collection is one that I've always imagined would get, would have go somewhere, but okay. Ultimate collection. So the blue one and the uh, brown brown one, I guess. Yes, thank you. I the, the I really enjoyed these ones. Okay, so blue. Brown. Okay, I'm gonna put this in your uh, your pile, Took, and then um, 
I'm gonna put the whole thing in there and then figure out the best way to uh, safely get those over there. This was a painting of my partner at the time, Kelsey. Or a, I guess it's a marker drawing. Okay, you're buying them. But here's another guy. Okay, I'll put, I'll put buy. Awesome. I really, uh, I get a kick out of his little beard for some reason. It's like a foamy beard. And then the way I drew these was, you know, I, I did them really loose. So there's, you can see some of my original lines. And that's the only part I, I wish that the beard was fully frothing. Um, but you can see some of the lines in there. But I still really like the energy of it. He's cute. And then this one I did not, I didn't like enough to finish. It looked too much like um, maybe Felix the cat. And this one's got like kind of some tribal patterns that I thought was kind of cool. I like his white, kind of like off-white tone too. And I didn't like the big head guy as much either. Didn't finish him. Here's a, a watercolor I did. Kind of cool. There's some neat details in there I like. Some of the smaller little parts. And this guy is smoking a cigarette. There's a, a nice quality to these with the watercolor, um, like very high saturation, lots of colors. Um, I think that they're, they'd be good for like a book illustration maybe. Oh, the last uncolored guy. Thanks. Yeah, with the, with the big, he was with the big head, right? Yeah, I never got him finished. This was a, a drawing I was just feeling really down. Kind of that, I like the eyes, kind of cool. It's hard to see, they look a little brownish in there, but they're really like, got a lot of colors. Um, just sketching out an idea. Head inside of a head inside of a head. This was um, part of my CRISPA designs. So I, for the longest time I was making the, I actually have them over there somewhere, but I was making these ceramic, um, semi-symmetrical ceramic designs. Um, so this is kind of like, part of that. Um, I was really interested in kind of these organic shapes, almost like bone. Frame, yeah, I think that one could be. Thank you, Tuck. Yeah, I think actually if it's framed, if I frame this one the right way, it could turn out really good. Okay, thank you. I'm, I'm definitely going to consider thinking that one. Um, and then this is, I don't know what I was doing here. Some idea. This was another one. Um, I, I wasn't overall as happy with the colors on this one. Um, but. So cool. And 
helfen. Brauchst du ja. This was a green background, the tribal one. Awesome, Phil. Sweet. Thank you, guys. Okay. So, ultimate. So, green and tribal. Yeah, I think Took had, um, was interested in the other two prior to that. So that works great. Awesome. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Took. That's great. I'm really happy that those are going to you guys. Um, cause they have been one of my, kind of my favorite sets of drawings that I had done a while back. So thank you so much for that. I'm really excited. Um, and I will, once we do, um, rewards month. So these will be set in your pile. And then when I get to um, deciding how I'm going to ship them and everything like that, I, and you know, how that's all going to break down, I'll give you more details. That guy's wearing a face suit, a face jacket. <laughs> and this guy. You got to love his haircut. Nice and uh, nice haircut. And I was trying to do this bunny. I was trying to do it in one color. Um, but I think there's actually two. But I remember I was just trying to use up what was left over of the color I had, so I just did the bunny. So it was just a extra. This is another, this was another Crispo one, but. All right, Phil. Hopefully to see you again shortly. Be here for uh, another two hours, so stop back if you get a chance. And then this was a collaborative. I actually don't remember exactly who I was collaborating with, but I remember this character here was really cool. And I don't remember if that was an art night collab. I think this was just with one or two other people. So kind of cool. All right. So this goes into the rewards pile. And next, let's see what we got. This is paper, more blank paper, which is good. Looks like we got another sketchbook. Go through. Um, KSI, it depends on, um, so some, some of the people are patrons and they, they pay $20 a month. So they have kind of um, backed up um, rewards. Um, so some of these, if they're unframed, a lot of these drawings sell for like, you know, anywhere from 50 to a hundred dollars. If they're, if they do get framed up, then it's going to be extra, um, based on the, the frame and how much it's going to cost to ship. So it's usually like 50 to a hundred and then, um, the shipping cost. Um, Good question though, thank you. This was uh, something I made for Miles Bullen, one of his albums. I was We were just discussing like how music can breed life and stuff like that. I don't think we ever used it though, but. Um, paintings are a little bit more expensive. Some of the ones on paper or the larger ones, but out of the books, um, try to keep them pretty inexpensive. This one, oh, it's hard to see. Um, this one I think is hilarious because um, it's got these hot dogs that are falling. 
from the sky. And then a, this uh, forest coming out of his, like, stomach. And the forest is made out of these, like, little dogs. That one cracks me up. And he's like uh, asking for donations and then there's the sound effects of all the donations plinging in there. He's got a jackpot on his shell. This doesn't have a narrative necessarily, or it wasn't a selected narrative. I just kind of like it was drawing whatever I could think of. Kind of fun. I like that style, a little bit like cartoony. I like the heart on this one. This is a portrait of Abbott Russell, incredible artist, also the um, person I started the Hidden Ladder Collective with. We were doing uh, the art. We were doing a figure drawing class, and the model didn't show up, so we painted each other. Now somebody's painting me or drawing me. Now is Andrew, our roommate, the golden boy, Andrew Cook, also artist. And this was Kara. And this was our friend Adrian. And there's Abbas again. This is an interesting one. Um, got cats on his shoulder he's got segments for a face that has a sword on it and it's got like some kind of a unicorn or not a unicorn a uh, seahorse I guess mermaid horse And that was a, I forget what I was seeing. I was seeing somebody making these, uh, these sculptures that look so much like a bunch of things, but they're not actually anything. So I was trying to do that in my drawing, trying to make uh, a painting that looked like it could be so many things, but it's really kind of none of them. Oh, and this is another figure drawing class. I think this is a friend of Sarah's. Um, their performer. I really like this one. That was pretty good. And I'm trying to stick to a color palette on these. And of course they're sideways, so it's a little bit disorienting to look at, but okay. So that's that sketchbook. So I'll put that with the sketchbooks. All right, now on to this piece. Dang, the blowout on the bottom is just really kind of frustrating. There you go. Right there. Yeah, so this has some, I was, uh, this is during the time when I was doing some spray paint stuff. Um, so I had a bunch of stencils and I was kind of working with uh, combining some of the spray paint stencils. That's what like the little crowns are. And I was going over it with different things. Um, one um, plug again for, because we're going to do our first drawing here in a minute. So there's only a few people in here for this one. So um, everybody that's here, um, 
just let me know that you want to be in the drawing and um, you'll have a chance to win either a foil print. One of my, I'll show you the, you can actually see them over on the side there, but um, like here's the latest print featuring Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Um, there's also a Chubby Creatures one. Um, you can get PVL Robots, the card and dice game I invented, which is up here. Um, you can also get a, the Teddy Spider enamel pin. Um, and here, I'll show you the other two. Chubby Creature foil print. And the Outbreak. Um, but a plug for if you are not following me on Twitch, it really helps me a lot because I'm trying to get these emotes um, to, to be able to be used. And I need to have 50 uh, followers before I can. So anybody that's not a follower, please uh, consider following me just because I really would like to get to 50. So I can test out some of the uh, other things. Um, all right. So everybody that's in here, if you just, um, just say prize or, um, type prize into the chat box and that means you're entered. You got one minute to do that and then I will, uh, do the drawing. Let's see who do we got in here? All right, anybody anybody inter <laughs> interested in the prize? I don't see any um in the chat going up, so we can also skip it to go to the next hour, which I'm fine with if nobody wants. Interested. All right, I'm going to move on from this one. Yeah, I'm surprised. Normally we have a good amount of people on the prizes, so if you don't, you might just straight up win. Exactly, not much of a contest. Um, and normally I do a pre, um, I have people enter beforehand, and so I usually have about 10 to 12 um, people, but for this one I figured I was just gonna do it, I was just gonna do it right now, you know, with who's here. And now we have the, we have less people wanting to enter. So interesting. So check out this uh, um, acrylic painting. Kind of a weird creature. I think the colors are good. But it's on cardboard, which um, is something I really, I, there's something freeing about working on cardboard. Also, I actually just like how acrylic sticks to cardboard. Um, so it's a little bit of a trick to, it's kind of not the best material to work on though, but. KS me, do, uh, have you been, do I know who, who you are? Have you been to my streams before? Cause your name is familiar to me, but I don't know if you are somebody I should be knowing. I'm really glad you're here either way. More orange paper.
I yeah, I rec I I do remember your name, but I am. Um... No way, Casey. That's awesome. Yes, I do remember. That's really cool. How have you been? Did you um did you see me post it on Facebook? Because I think we're friends on Facebook. And Casey, that's awesome. Um, it's actually kind of amazing to me how many people I met working at Staples because it was probably my least favorite job for the actual job. But I got to meet a lot of really cool people um, that I still have friends and connections with, which um, more so than maybe any jo other job I've ever had, like stayed friends with people. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Casey. That's really cool. What are, what are you up to these days? These are some of my robot drawing uh, things. Yeah, it is a weird pl place to meet people, but you're right. The people do last. Um, that's some. That's some really interesting. It's really interesting about that job. I don't know why. Maybe it's just. Yeah, I don't know why it draws draws pretty cool people in, even though the job is not good. I don't think I did not like. I didn't like the company, I guess, but I did like all the people. These are just some. I did some robot drawing classes on Zoom. Um, through Factory 3, so um, they're going to be tossed, but that was a lot of fun. Here was a Hidden Ladder Collective uh, collaboration. February 23rd, 2020, so that was right before the virus. It actually looks like a virus right there. It's weird. The whole thing looks kind of like a pandemic was about to come. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Casey. Yeah, this is uh, quite the year, huh, with everything. Um, I moved from Portland to Eastport. Um, and that has been quite the transition. Um, just basically to be safer... Uh, with everything because it's been so hard just you know living in Portland with the pandemic has been difficult so um yeah I'm gonna spend the winter here um but it's it's a lot safer here but we just found out like a bunch of the pandemic uh is coming to Eastport because uh, a bunch of the neighboring towns have got a bunch of cases so now we have to be extra careful which we knew was going to happen, but more paper. Actually, I actually have more blank paper than I remembered, which is actually pretty exciting. Get this painting a little bit down there. Let's see what we got in this one. Some kind of weird drawings. I think these are some collaboratives that were done. Oh, nice, Gorham. Yeah, I'm glad that that's it hasn't been too stressful there or too dangerous. It's another collaborative. This one turned out really good. A lot of people worked on these, so I don't know. Is that all that's in here? Sweet. Okay, so I got more more blank paper. Oh, and here's part of the uh, masked hornets. I wonder how this one's gonna look on the screen though. Oh, it actually looks good. And this one I framed up a couple different times. Um, 
it doesn't I haven't had a lot of luck finding a way, one to keep keep it in good condition um, and I don't know if it's because I have it it was paper mounted on poster board or what but yeah I just think I should reframe this one um, and on there it looks like there's a crease but I don't know it looks worse on the on the screen than it does yeah I really my favorite part about this one is this arm in the background that black ghostly arm and shadow I really like that part yeah it's one of my favorite of the uh, hornet okay I'll put it in the frame pile thank you thank you Casey thank you took that's a framer I gotta be careful. It's got like some tape on the back. Um, and these are these are just I'm just gonna show them off, but uh, I'm I'm probably just gonna discard them. They're just they're I like them, but there's no. I took some pictures. Um, they were from another figure drawing class. Let's get it back a little bit. And the colors are nice. Like I love doing these figure drawing classes where I sketch out the figure relatively quickly and then watercolor it. Um, I think they turned out turn out really good. They're really fun to do. But again, I, it's it's not on a medium that I'm trying to keep or anything. So here's just some of the other <laughs> robot drawing class stuff that I had been doing. I had some amazing kids in this class on Zoom. They're just super inventive, coming up with all kinds of cool stuff. So, but I don't really need to keep these because even if I do another uh, class, I can keep working on those. But um, I, it's not that super easy. This was another collaborative. I think this was a collaboration with Sable. We never got finished, but it was gonna do. We're gonna do. Um, she does collage and I do watercolor. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of this one because it's really. Um, I doubt I'll be collaborating. Like it's not one that we ended up working on. And it's like got a dead baby bird makes me sad. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Um, here's a one of the prints I did. Um, the porch prints. It's got a lot of hidden imagery um, in it. And this is a, a lithograph. And this these are going to be available um, in the shop days for November as well. Um, so if for patrons, so my next my next stream is going to be next Thursday, where I'm going to do this same process again, another three hours of going through drawings, and then. Um, I'm going to to have two the next two streams after that be shop days where you get to basically shop um, for any of the items that I have. So I'm going to pull out all of my merch and all of my smaller things. Um, basically, this is the time to get the bigger stuff and claim that if you're a patron. But um, the two times after that, you'll be able to pick up any of these smaller things. Um, which I had a pile for that. I don't know where it went. Okay. Um, figure drawings on cardboard. Or actually paintings, but. The fact that they're on cardboard is a little bit unfortunate again, but I do, I do like working on cardboard. It's just not, they're not the best medium. Okay, so this was unfinished. I took a uh, class, or was it, it was like a training we had to go to. And I forget what the, it was like a title. It's called under the covers. It was supposed to. I forget what you had to do. Yeah. Thank you, Took. I think that's true. 
um, unfinished, but it was it was kind of a cool concept where it was going to be all these stuffed animals under the covers, um, and then each bump in the covers was like a different family member. Um, it was all about childhood, and then like our cats sticking their heads out too. Um, I thought it was a cool concept for like what would be like a children's book or something. Um, I don't know if I need to keep that though, because it wasn't fully executed. Um, yeah, it could be a finish, something I finish. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I finish that concept or um, it would it would maybe serve as a um, as a mock cover to a book or something that I could use. Okay, I'll put it in the finished file. All right. This one I'm going to toss because it's a, uh, this was also the same workshop. I forget what this one was. Something about creating a bridge or like a, a bridge to like the goal. It was like, a motivational workshop so it's like um i'm gonna throw this one it's just it was just like trying to get you to think about like a fancy bridge or something i know such power over me but this is what i need um it's funny because i have that hoarder's mentality of i can convince myself of a million reasons to keep everything um but i also know i need to be good at get letting stuff go and so if I get feedback, it really helps me um, make some decisions. This was this is another. I, I like these. These were just um, uh, quick thirty or like two minutes um, sketches that I did at one of the figure drawing class. But I love when I do these ones where they overlay. I really enjoy. Yeah, Took, I'm glad. It's really important to have that. And, you know, Andy is awesome also. Um, I just, I think that there's there's so much value in having people, like, help you kind of just review stuff. Because sometimes it's really hard to know what, you know, like, in my head I could think of all the reasons why something is good and don't throw it away. But, like is that actually a true statement? Do people actually like it? Or is it just me coming up with different solutions, you know, different things? This is a really interesting one, um, color wise at least. And I don't recognize, I don't think I drew all of this cause I don't recognize that bottom piece. Somebody might've drawn this with me. But I think the colors are very cool. Yeah, actually, I don't recognize that foot either. I wonder if Abbas worked on this with me or somebody. Oh, yeah, it looks like Abbas. Hmm. So, the, what did we get the collaboration on this? Oh, these down here. And this one just goes with the figure model stuff. Okay, this one. Curious what you guys think. Yeah, I can imagine it's a little weird to be saying trash to people's stuff. Um, but also, you know, I have... This was actually supposed to be a buffalo, an abstract buffalo. Um, but I have, you know, so much stuff and... If I can cut 10% of the stuff or 15%, 20%, um, no problem. Yeah, if it does nothing. Because it, I think there's a, yeah, I think it was a good attempt, but I don't think there's much to it. Um, but if I can get rid of like that bottom section of stuff, then, um, then it's really helpful for just getting, making room for new stuff, you know?
It's a interesting marker drawing. Is this going to join the trash pile too, do you think? Okay, it's gone. And then this guy, part of that same stack. Oh, I forgot about these. That's cool. So you'll notice there's a stain here. It's kind of frustrating. Doesn't I'm not opposed to working with uh, that kind of stuff, but yeah, I think I can get rid of that one too. Because it doesn't. I I don't really want to work. Don't really have like a big need to work on that one. So here's an interesting set of drawings that I did. Um, just some marker drawings. They're uh, Kind of like it's hard to see some of the detail. They're little kind of robotic guys. Um, I like that the one guy is saying he's talking about maybe being a different version of himself or something. Okay, put it through the next time. Nice. That's a good that's a good idea. I'll put that in the next round. Where is that gonna go? Um guess over here. I'm gonna get this too. Yep, good idea. Yeah, we could do a hashtag pass too. Pass means move it to next time. This one uh I think there's, yeah, I guess I could see this one being good if I really made the center really awesome, but, um, but I also, I already didn't like the gray for some reason, and then I kind of gave up on it. Yeah, do I want... Oh, you like the gray, interesting. Well, that's good to know. Cause, I mean, gray is my favorite color, but I just didn't... It didn't uh, pop for me when I... All right, we'll move that to next time. See if people think I should finish it. Um... This one, this one's um, interesting. Yeah, the inside could be colorful. I can, that one's, because I didn't finish the inside, it's really unsure whether, unclear whether it would turn out good or not, especially with those colors, if I picked some good colors. Pass on this one. It, the this one also is these are actually napkins that I drew on um, that I glued on to this which I actually liked the drawings but then when I glue you know it's their napkins so they once you glue them onto the thing they didn't turn out that good so keep or pass okay yeah probably. All right, I'll, I'll pass it to the next one. Okay, this one, let me be close. Yeah. 
This one has some uh, po poems or writing on it. Kind of looks like a figure or a face. Um, like it says, our mind has wings, but the skull is a cage. And our savior was negative space, but we could never see it. I don't know, kind of interesting, but. Trash on that one, Took. Okay. It's going. All right, what do we got next? This is just a face. Um, I like the, uh, so it's hard to see the water, the, like, the intricate watercolor stuff, but it's not, uh, let's see if I get closer. I was trying to do kind of a face with uh, a lot of different pieces. Okay. All right, how about this big one? You were you a keep on the uh, on the face, Casey? Okay, so if we got a keep and a, and a trash, I will uh, I'll put it in the for next time. This one, okay, pass on this one. Awesome, thank you, Casey. Um. Yeah, the there's some. I think this like top corner. Probably the best part of it. Okay, pass. Yeah, we'll see. This was this was a live painting I did somewhere. Um, I was just doing flowers with marker and watercolors. I feel like it's a little, well, oh, this is, um, it's definitely not finished. Um, I mean, that's the collage idea is a good idea. Yeah, so some of them, I mean, I think some of them are, I'm attached to them. I'm attached to all of it, but I don't, I know I need to do, I do need to get rid of some of it because it's, uh, I can still see potential in all of them. If I, you know, if I spent a week working on any of these, I think I could get it to a place where they'd be good. But I could also spend a week on a blank sheet of paper and make something good too. So it's like hard to, uh, you know, determine whether or not to be like, Oh yeah, it's worth to, to keep working on this one or not. So like this has a lot of good colors in it, but you know, I don't know if it's going to, you know, I trying to envision what it's going to look like at the end. It could be so many things. Oh, this is what I, so I found another piece of this. This was actually um, a video game or like a, a point and click game 
that I had been working on. So basically, if you can imagine this being a, a game, you walk into the room and then you can click on different things. So you can click on this wanted poster and then it would zoom in and I can show you the other sheet here. So here. If you click on the wanted poster, then it would pull up like an image of the wanted poster and you can read it. And then, um, yes, this is actually, I think this is one that me and Phil may have started, may have been working on. I, I was actually trying to remember if this is the, one of the ones like, and this is the point, like this guy, if you click on his, uh, he's got a little something sticking out of his pocket. You can click on it and it zooms in. You can see his butt crack there and the little thing. And then if you click on the actual note, then it would give you this note that you get to read, um, which would give you clues. Um, and you could zoom in on the bartender's arm and see his tattoo, which would have something. There's hidden cards and keys. So that was like one, one of the scenes. So kind of cool. Yeah, so if Phil comes back, I'll show it to him and see if he remembers that. Oh, well. Now this is one that I made, I don't know, Brian, do you remember this? Because I think I made this in high school. A Boba Fett painting. It was one of my first paintings, and I was all so proud of it, but I really don't need to keep this anymore. Um, I remember doing, spending so much time trying to get like the gradients right and everything like that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and toss that though because I've had it long enough. I know I like Boba Fett. I don't really need that. Okay, here is a guitar player. So we got we made a good chunk of a dent here. So we got an hour and a half left. We're doing pretty good. Trash it. This is also one that I can easily, if I like this concept, um, I can, because it's, this is a more of a conceptual piece. So I can just take a picture of it and I could redo it um, if I ever wanted to make that again, because it's pretty quick. Okay, good. Thank you guys. All right, this is one, this is a drawing style that I kind of haven't been doing recently, but it's kind of cool. Um, I've used this in a couple different, uh, I made stickers out of some of these characters and stuff. It's really kind of an activist, or maybe not activist, but anti-corp, um, Consumerism, maybe? There's like a the robot heads that cycle around that says, eat this, buy this, watch this, drive this. Um, it talks about pollution and fracking and... Okay. I will... Uh, I don't know if it should go in a different pile, but... Alright, so this one. Probably you gotta be too big for the screen. So, I wonder if this. This one actually got pretty dirty, which is kind of sad. Bus just been from whatever was stacked. Top of yeah, this might be a finish. It, I'm wondering if it looks like that stuff scratches off, but what do you?
what do you think, Casey? You think that's a, a finish? So just a little bit. And it isn't anybody specific. Is it finished? Okay. All right, go ahead and finish. All right, here's a. This is a duo. I was doing these figures of these kind of like, I don't know what to call them. Recline, reclining nudes. Pass next time. Yeah, they're they're goofy. Some of these are goofy stuff. This one is on cardboard acrylic kind of similar to that other one where I don't even know where I did this at oh I put it over there pass Okay. Um, now these ones, I just didn't have the heart to throw these out because of how much time it took me to make these, um, in like, uh, it's, it's just the different versions of the, of the print, I, the porch prints. These aren't, they're all different stages of the process. Um, and my biggest thing was that it was, it just took so long for me to make it. Printmaking just is exhausting. Um, and so I didn't want to throw out any of the pieces, but there, none of these are really finished. So I don't, I don't know if I should just toss all that or what I should do. I'm still not really sure because I don't know what if people even keep that stuff normally for printmaking. So <laughs> these ones these ones are a series. I actually wanted let me know what you think but these are a series where I wanted to frame them up pretty cheaply um, and make them like a, a show that I could put in a coffee shop or something. Just large you know they're like good from afar, um, just bright and colorful, kind of very playful. Um, so there's a series of them. And while I know that they're not like, they're really more of a conceptual thing than anything. Um, I think I've already decided on those ones, I guess, just cause because I'd like to see them that way. Here's two more the red ones. I think there's a fifth one. I remember there being a fifth one. Okay, frame, thank you. Good. Oh. Yeah, I think that they're, they're, they're strong as a series. Um, I think individually, maybe less so, but so this is one that I've uh, I let got a little damaged on the side, unfortunately. But um, I've I've actually made prints of this one that has actually sold pretty well. So um, just because of that makes me feel like I should keep it. But I 
And also, I feel like some of the cool mark making on this. Um, it's got like a nice good amount of energy. You got a pass on that one? Okay, pass it over. All right, now we're getting to some gray pieces. Got no head. Okay, trash in this one. How about this the the figure? Same. The baby. Oh, I don't even have the right. I just noticed that I don't have the right um, title for my piece. Okay, passing this one, or for my stream, should say. Um. The little baby. It's weird because the baby, I did a lot of stuff with babies. Um, and the, it's like I didn't handle the subject matter delicately um, when babies are so delicate. So it's kind of like a weird juxtaposition. Um, and I think it can be off-putting in some ways because they're, it's not delicate. Here was a series of like little head guys, kind of like that ref reclining figure. Um, and I also made a, I made a big sculpture out of it. Um, this concept. A big giant metal sculpture. I think my mom still has it in a garage. We. It really could be dug. It's so heavy because it was made out of welded metal. Um, pass on that one. Oh, sweet. Media Night, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, so that's a that's a weird that's a weird uh, kind of concept one. Here's another like uh, kind of baby, but also is like the pose. I feel like the body language is less like a baby. Oh, awesome! Thank you so much. I need I need the numbers, so it means a lot. Thank you. Yeah, I need to get to fifty so I can start uh, using these emotes that I made. You're welcome to join along in the uh, help me decide what to do with my artwork because some of these I need to trash, some of them I should finish, and some of them I'm going to frame up. Um, so if you see any that you have any input on, I'd love the I'd love the feedback. 
It's actually interesting that I painted my walls gray right before this, and I forgot how much of my artwork is gray. So it's like these works look good in the gray wall, I feel like. Pass? Okay. Wait till next time. Yeah, that one that one I don't dislike. Oh, what happened to this? That's too bad. I literally don't know how that happened, but probably getting rid of that one just because of that. Thank you, Media Knight. That's great advice. Um, yeah, I get um, I I kind of get overwhelmed by how much art I've made and difficulty, you know, sifting through um, the stuff. So I appreciate that. Yeah, damaged. Yeah, there's no way I can clean that one up either. Here's another one that I only am really keeping or only kept um, just because it's it was an experiment. Um, so it's really just to remind me. Um, I don't know if I need to keep it. This is actually probably why that one got so messed up is because it's just such thick, but it's actually supposed to be a teddy bear. This is the nose, eye, eye, ear, ear. It's really hard to see. Um, there's like an arm, but it was supposed to be dark. Um, but I don't, I, I wouldn't say it's very successful in what I was trying to accomplish really because it's, it loses all of its forms in a lot of ways. Um, I still like the process. Um, getting really oh you like to cut good okay yeah because I I think there's value in it in some ways but I also I'm not sure if anybody would like it oh you saw the bear right off the bat that's so awesome I'm really glad to hear that okay um the messy one these are I don't even think I'm gonna go through these, but these were actually ones that were drawn at Split Rock with my mom, which was an amazing experience. Um, but I don't think I did the best on my drawings. So it was my first test with vellum and gouache. So really cool mediums. All right, a couple more of these ones. And we've gotten rid of about half of the ones from this series, these gray ones. Yeah, it is charcoals and dusty. It's, that one's a pain. Yeah, it really is. I, I would say that I'm not even sure the best way to frame or do anything with it. yeah the teddy bear one um i mean you could frame it but it would be yeah i don't blame you on that here's another good this was kind of like a guitar musician one maybe Let's see Um, trash on that one. Everyone agree, trash this one. My guitar guy. Yeah. Again, I think the con the concept is cool, but I don't think the outcome is really very good on that one. So I agree. You're another baby. pass on it okay we'll go with the other one I'll do that as a series to to see if we want to keep them 
So here's a, this is a spray paint one. I spray painted the gold and then I um, painted the background. So I'm actually, I don't remember how, how I did the gold, um, the layers of gold. Maybe I don't know how I did that, but frame it. Cool. Thanks. That'll be good. Okay. Framing that one up. Let's see what's next. This is another pastel of figures. I don't, I don't know. I don't really like it. So actually the, <laughs> it's funny. It's funny that, uh, yep. Going to toss it. The, but I like the colors, especially with this wall color, but I really don't like it as a whole thing. It's just not really very satisfying. Um, this was another figure drawing. It's got a little bit of smudges on it, I think. Okay, get rid of that one. So um, this one's interesting because took this was done around the same time that I did the piece on wood, that particle board that you have. Um, it's not the same characters, but it was done around the same time. So, and I think of them, I, they're, not, they're not the same, but I just, um, it was the same time period. But he's got, very weird face. Yeah, it was kind of like a study for the for the one I ended up doing that that you have. Um, it is on cardboard. Yeah, I was kind of just playing with what I was going to do on that particle board. And so I was just kind of like playing around with different um, characters and ways to paint. Cool. It's yours. Next up, so this was, uh, I think, very inspired by Willem de Kooning's paintings. Um, I was kind of just exploring with that. It may, I don't, I'd have to look back to see it, how much it actually replicates that. Um, it's actually, it's funny, it actually looks more like a Picasso on the screen, but it's actually... Um, Maybe it looks more more like Picasso then, but it's a real mess. Trashing it. It'd be interesting as I uh, I could take a picture of any of the ones as I'm getting rid of them and post them on Instagram as a if anybody wants like a last call on any of those before I, when I do my big just canvas kill burning or whatever I end up doing. So this actually goes this way. I 
passen da. Okay. This was a, I was for a while doing a series of business, businessmen kind of a concept. Um, I don't know. It kind of, I even had some shiny elements to it. You can kind of see. Never got, never got it to really what I wanted. Passing that one. This was called the City of Blood. <laughs> it's part of that series. Um, it says the triumphant journey back home from the City of Blood, only to return again tomorrow. This one is um, I actually did a time lapse painting of this or a video of this one um, which I think the time lapse is probably cooler than the actual picture um, everybody's got clocks for heads got the turtle walking next to the highway I like some of the ideas. You got the person chained up working in a office space. But Yeah. That's probably where he came from is is that that's that turtle I, yeah, I did a couple different times. And it's funny, he shows up in a lot of my different stuff. Let's show back up. Here's a pencil drawing. It's called The Whisper. Right, the frame frame in that one. Okay, so I got one vote for frame on that. That's good. There's something about the colors in this one. I don't know what it reminds me of. Um, yeah, it's too bad. I would love to get like 20 people uh, voting at the same. That would be really awesome. So I got to try to get more people in. I know I some of some of this time didn't work for some people. Um, so. I have to consider I'm doing the next one the same time and the same people that have conflicts this week have conflicts next week. So I have to be a little bit, maybe I should adjust the time or do another time where I go through them really quickly with people. Okay, I had a frame on this one too, so that's great. Got two frames on those ones. So I'm gonna put them over there as they're kind of in the maybe pile still because I want to get more than one vote on that. This is a collage, not my typical style.
it's like kind of jarring the colors too. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. It's like one of those ones that if you took, yeah, meh, kind of like if you took a picture of this and you turned it black and white, the lack of contrast would really hurt this one. It would be pretty much just all the same shade of gray, I think, minus the teeth and the eyes. I'm gonna get rid of it. That's a little face. This was a, I remember this drawing was part of a series of things. I think I may have done this for a drawthon about, it was anti-war. So it was about like eating missiles. Okay. Here's a totem pole. I actually made a series of these. Um, I think I sold all of them that I had finished. This one I never finished. Casey says finish. Okay, I'll finish it. Do some watercolor on there. Um, these ones you can uh, you can go through kind of quick because um, they're just black and white. They're definitely not finished, so I'm just going to hold them up quick. If you guys think I should keep any of these, let me know. So we got a butterfly, got this mustache guy. Finish on the butterfly. How about the mustache guy? And butterfly got a finish, nice. Trash the mustache guy. What do you think, Casey? We also got this little uh, creature here. Got some flies hanging around them. That one, I don't know what I did with that one stroke there. I don't like, but. That could be fixed, I guess. Claiming this guy? In his unfinished form? Okay. Yeah, he's, a, he's cute. All right. And okay, mustache guy I'm getting rid of. This. These are kind of, I consider these together, so they either trash together. I don't know what I would do really to finish them. They really, I was taking some sketches I did. <laughs> yeah, the William Hessian wing. Yeah, you always, I always love seeing your, you collect such cool stuff too from different people. I love how you hang stuff. Trash together. Okay, next. 
We got these kitties that are evil. They're like Ch I was kind of inspired by the Cheshire Cat guys. Um, it's hard to see them, but. <laughs> Too detailed. You love the cats, Casey? Here is a part of a, this is a, I have more of these, did a series of ones with these like people eating different stuff, um, watercolors with big faces. Okay, we'll go to the next round. Big head eaters trash. Yeah, that's fair. There's not. I like the style of those, um, and that was a good bra to practice that the watercolor style. But this one is more of a conceptual piece too, where just the concept of like a baby being strung up to watch TV all day. I do really like how bright this TV feet doesn't it feel like it's really glowing? I like that part, but I don't I don't think it's uh needs to be. It like I don't think it would look great framed up. Um Okay, this one's a little bit hard to so messy. Okay, this is another one of the figures. Yeah, the TV table, like the curly, the curly cued TV table. Yeah, that is kind of cool. These are some dancing figures. I actually, uh, Um, I actually cut these, these characters out, out of metal, um, in college, had all these little dancing figures, um, okay, I'll go pass on that. Here's one of the, uh, split rock ones that I actually kind of liked, but I'm not really big into, I don't know, not really, I don't get too excited by like flower paintings or anything like that, but I like the concept of that one, kind of off to the side and then the, the splatters in the background. And like the stream. Again, this isn't stuff I would necessarily like. I think it's great practice to do this stuff. Um, I don't have the patience or the kind of like 
the interest in the subject matter to, I don't know, to keep. Yeah, I could shoot pics of these, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll just put those off here. Just take pictures of them. This was the series or a drawing that I I was trying to do that had all this symbology. I was really trying to this was quite a long time ago now. Um but I actually did crayon, it was marker marker and then crayon and then I scratched away the crayon. It's actually getting really blown out. Um But I was trying to take symbols from um, all different cultures. Okay, I think that's true. How about this? This is just a kind of cubist study. Wow, this one's dated 2002. And I remember that. I was doing a lot of these. Uh, I had made some of these were really cool. These kind of abstracted faces with these very geometric shapes. Um, some were better than others. Yeah, that is a key thing about, you know, I can just take pictures of stuff and not, if no one's going to want a specific thing, like, it, you're right, if it's not sellable or, or like, desirable, it, um, it just can be kind of, like, take a picture and kind of let it go because it's not, there's no reason to kind of hang on to it. So this is actually on a board. I might keep the board, even if it gets trashed, but, um, just to... A face that I don't really like. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna use that as materials. Oh yes, this is. I don't know if you saw this uh, yesterday, Tuck, but this was uh, the other teddy bear um, that kind of goes with that dark one. Also, pretty uh, messy, but I do really like this one. This was a just a acrylic study um, of a tribal chieftain. This was a mono print I did. Um, I'm just gonna throw this in the pile of stuff for people to select um, if they want. Just because it's an easy thing to ship. It's got some good colors on it, but. Yeah, this one's still a little too big. Here's a, another Homer Simpson abstract. I thought it was pretty funny, but I, it's, uh, I do think it's pretty funny in concept, but I also don't think it's, the marker doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't, um, the markers don't really do it justice, I don't think. Maybe if I painted this green in a much, with paint, it could be okay. Um, I really like, you can't see it. But up close, you can see the little waft of hair. Yeah, right now, you the last few have been just you took. 
We lost Casey. I don't know. And then Brian's been uh, chiming in here and there whenever he um, can pop back in. I have had Abbott, uh Russell do vote on these before. Um, but so like the thing that's great about this though, Took, is I'm, I'm getting your help to kind of like put things in pass and keep the, even the trash pile. I'll probably go through one more time on next week. Um, oh, no problem, Casey. Uh, we were just saying that we got, we only are getting, just getting less votes from you. Um, but so I'll go back through um, a second round just to basically like go through all of them as like, here's all the throwaway piles. Does any of these that people think I should save? And then I can go through them much quicker. So that's going to be good. Um, I'm going to keep this with the Homer pile though. I shall put it over here. Pencil drawing. That's uh, not attached to anybody I know or anything I care about. Just a yeah. I don't know if I like the Homer one enough, but I just because I did that as a series, it makes me think that there's um. If I'm gonna keep any of the Homers, I might keep them, do them all. So I basically I'll put that with the other Homer and then make a decision next Friday, next Thursday. But I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. Oh, I do have one of my five uh, Canterbury Downs, Canterbury Pleasure prints. Uh, it was just a horse racing linoleum. And I will just, I'll just add that to my rewards pile. People can select it. Oh. This was a, a, I don't know why it's so shiny. Apparently I painted shiny black. Or did I clear coat it? I don't know. Not sure how that's so shiny. Um, it has a really neat quality to it, the shininess. I don't know how I did that. Yeah, this one's really cool. It's like a something sitting on a turtle, sitting on a baby, sitting on a turtle. This was a collaborative, which I'm just going to put in the collaborative pile. Yeah, and the the thing that really hurts this one is that the details are really bad. I think I must have done this very quickly with like some leftover paint or something. It's it's small enough though that I can add it to my rewards pile. That's one good thing about the smaller ones. This the study for one of the icon paintings. Unless somebody likes this one, I'm just going to toss it because it's Not the best line work, nor colors. It was really just a test. So, same with this one. I like the, uh, it's kind of like sags here with the eyeballs and like people inside. Um, Yeah, good. Thank you, Took. Good idea with the reward pile. We, You and me were thinking on the same lines, because that's how I thought, too. This one I feel like is way more successful as a, as a test, um, but I also feel like it's... Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe And maybe they do go... Maybe they work well together as, like, a pair. 
but because they're just they're just tests um, or studies, I, I wonder if they're if they're actually attractive to people or not. I can keep them together. We'll move them to the past pile. Oh yeah, this is this is something I can toss, but I really liked these. Um, for a while, I was really into doing um, freeform poetry. So I'd draw these figures and I'd write freeform poetry over the face, um, even though I'm not very good at that. Um, it was fun for me. And so I like pretty basic concept, but it says betrayal of the heart, fear not the song of splendid madness. Watch as I hide the sacred answer to a question which has yet to be determined. With the rare oddities that we humans are, with the rare oddities that we humans are, we are fortunate enough to be living, and yet we have become our worst enemy. I want some taquitos, philosophical raccoons, philosophical raccoons eating remains of a not so philosophical chicken. A meal becomes a meal, and that meal becomes another meal. Never hide behind your feelings, and never listen to a thing I say. For these are simply words of reactions, reactions to events and emotions. Words transport ideas, thoughts, and incoherence. At times I wonder if we even understand what we are saying. The world is not communicating very positive signals. We, we are not very good role models for others, other races. No wonder animals are becoming extinct faster by the minute. We are being... We are not being... Friendly, we are self-absorbed as a race. It is time we realize human beings are all share common problems. About damn time we act on it. <laughs> yeah, let me get rid of that. That it's it ends up sounding so preachy too by the end, which is exactly the kind of the opposite of what I feel like that kind of thing should be. But Here we got uh... so if anybody uh, who's checking this out wants wants to do a, a drawing just if if you do hashtag win in the uh, chat room you'll be entered to win yeah it's preachy and it was like those are one of the, I do those a lot when I in college when I was like really exhausted and tired I would do that and so that would happen. All right, Brian, you're entered into the contest. Anybody else? Um, all right, Casey, Brian, anybody else want to enter the contest for the giveaway? It's uh, you'll get a choice of prizes. There's an enamel pin. There's a PBL robots game. Um, there's art prints. Finish this one. Yeah, this is a watercolor I did a long time ago. 2002, in fact. Thanks, yeah, I, I like it. I do like it. Um, it's kind of got a haunting feel to it. Any other, any other uh, viewers out there? Um, hello, Sarah. Welcome, welcome. Anybody, anybody else want to enter into the contest? So far, we have two. Yeah, I'll put in the uh, finished file. Here's another, this was a, a jousting contest, if you want it to be. This was a figure drawing class. Kind of like, uh, my favorite part was kind of like the figures and then doing their like kind of ghosts coming out. So each one has like a ghost. Yep, got about 40 minutes left for uh, 
we got about yeah we got about 60 more works of art to go through we'll see if we can get through them getting rid of this one here's a uh, face <laughs> I remember I was taking uh, strips of canvas that was getting cut up and I would, uh, this was probably high school as well, actually, or maybe right after high school. Hello, Beefster. Is this cake toast, Beefster? No way. Yes. Beefster, do you want to uh, be part of the, uh, the the drawing? I'm just about to do a drawing. You can win uh, you can win one of my foil prints. You can even win a copy of PBL Robots. You can win a uh... nice. It's good to. See. I'm glad you both are here. Okay, no problem. Hi, Molly. Molly Nate, glad you are here. Okay, so Bri it's Brian and Casey in the uh, the current. It's almost a flip of a coin so far. Okay, next one. This is this doesn't really need to be voted on. I'm not sure why I even kept it, but it's kind of a I like the colors, but otherwise. Let's see what we got. Here's some figure drawings. Yeah, it wasn't really going to be a. This one can probably uh, go to just another one of my. Uh, figure drawing kind of colla collages kind of. And here's, I got two of these prints from printmaking. Um, and these were artist proof ones. So they were good, but they just weren't uh, completely done. And the one problem with this print is it's so big it's not easy to ship it just because of the paper. So I'll probably put that with my other printmaking stuff. And I guess I kept some of the test tube, the test tube baby ones too, that are. I did, these must be just mistake ones. This one especially is bad. Let me get rid of that. Put that with those. Um, we got. Uh, Oh, Beefster, you should uh, follow my stream if you can, because I'm trying to get up to 50 so I can do uh, um, some of the stuff with the emotes. Yeah, reward pile is a good idea for the test two babies. I know that I've actually had requests for that one, and I didn't think I had that left. Um, so it's good that I found a couple more of those. Okay. So these these are some really early two thousand and two is when I was working on these. Um, oh sweet, thank you. 
Appreciate it very much. Oh, nice. You're already on there. Well, I appreciate that. These, uh, these ones are really um, early kind of learning even how to use acrylics. So I'll probably get rid of them, but they're, they're still kind of fun to see. They'll probably be the last time I, you know, get to see them, but it's kind of like a cool history of, uh, for, for me to remember just how, um, difficult it was. There's actually a collaged piece up here, um, that you can't read some collage on there. And this one too. I was just finding scraps of the uh, canvas too. I remember when somebody told me this one I I liked back in the day, and then somebody told me it looks like you know somebody got beat up, and then she's got like a black eye or something, and I was like, yeah, it definitely does, and it doesn't look like it's hard to look at then once you see that for me so i don't want it to look like somebody got beat up or something um it's just not my intention that's not what i was trying to make a couple of the other early ones amazing to think that the it was almost 20 years ago when i was painting these Okay, get rid of that guy. <laughs> and then you, uh, you're making a Seinfeld reference, Sarah, which is unusual for you. Yeah, do you like do you like this one? It does kind of look like the no soup for you guys. Beefsters says frame on this one. The col I think the colors are nice. Um, we got some passes for next week. Okay, so this will be in the, uh, it's got one vote for frame. I'll put that for next week. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one goes with the tree. I think I was just testing out these different colored papers. Um, so. I love the vibration of it, but it's uh, completely not, nothing really to it. There's no excitement there. This was an abstract piece. This was a portrait of Sarah Moe in college. <laughs> the tree wants to be with it in the chat. I really like this uh this portrait just because of the reflection um in the window. Um I like how kind of haunting the reflection is. Um I don't know if it's like there's something about that reflection that I really like. It actually is scary to me. But I just like that. I'm gonna probably just keep that just either way because it's being serious. I don't think it's worth framing up, but some of the ones that are just portraits of friends, I like don't want to get rid of. Yeah, the colors. This one looks pretty good on on the screen. Um, I feel like it's like, I guess it's like a dog, which I forgot that that was a dog. Here's some of these silhouette things that we had to do in college. Um, I'm tossing these. Um, I don't know why I even kept them because they're just, uh, lost that guy. 
tossing those. It was a good uh, assignment, but I don't know why I kept them. Um, figure drawing. Yeah. Mm, pencil detail in the blank spaces. That would be that would be pretty cool actually to go back in on those. Here's a still life series that we did. Which actually so you got the uh the red one. This is when I actually started falling in love with color um Prismacolor pencils for the first time. Um because they've just blended so easily, and I'm like, oh man, this is way better than the color pencils I've been using. Um, I did a dragon on that one. They really are, uh, I don't know what I would do with these, so. I remember when I, when I had made them originally, I was super impressed. Um, like this one was done with just red and blue. Um, and so I really liked it, but yeah. And I think, you know, technically it's fine. It's not bad, but I don't really need to keep that. Oh, and this is what I was doing. I was doing miniature Buffalo for one of the art hunts. This was just like a larger study of that, but I think I could let this one go. Cause really it was just supposed to, I was just trying to break down the buffalo head in kind of a, you know, like a goofy way. Cause I had done, I think it was my fourth art hunt there. And I, so I'd done all these designs of different buffaloes. So I was trying to come up with a new one. I can get rid of that. Unless somebody uh, is definitely against it. Here's a, yeah, colorful. See, so I've done a lot of really good buffalo over the years so I don't remember which one you have but and I've, I I love drawing buffalo I really do um, probably because I got to hang out with white cloud like the albino buffalo in Jamestown so often so I really developed a connection so that's a dragon There's somebody trapped in the corner not really uh, much to it though let me get rid of that too. Um, here's a bunch of figures. Don't fall. This kind of is in the uh, in line with the um, those one figures, but I. I don't really need this was something I was gonna do like this big thing with all these characters but I kind of don't really need to keep that blue and purple huh I wonder, I wonder what that one was Ah, uh, you can't say trash anymore? Oh, they think you're uh, spamming. That's funny. Oh, Christian. You want the figures? Yeah, this is... This was a figure drawing um, that, yeah, you got it. I will uh, I'll find a way to get that to you. I, I'm going to, sweet, it's going in the pile for you.
Yeah, this this one is not necessarily a keeper, but I do think it's like a a cool design. Yeah. Bird watcher. Figures. I'm gonna put it in the keeper pile. Great. Um, I'll put up the uh, sci fi building that we can probably get rid of. <laughs> These, uh, I feel like for a while I was doing kind of more comic booky style drawings to kind of like get into. Uh, that was when I was doing 24 hour comics all the time. And so I was, uh, I was really trying to like. You know, just design different things and see how fast I could draw. Everything was it needed to be so quick. Um, so I ha I was studying with different types of things, but yeah, I think I'll trash it. I, there's no reason to really keep that. Um, it was more just a test. Here's like one of those uh, assignments in class where you take each box and you do a different design. And I think the uh, I think you know the some of the textures are great and what and whatever. But one of the things I really wish I would have done was pick a face of something recognizable because that's one of the biggest uh, um, yeah the biggest change. I wonder if uh, or the the biggest it just doesn't look like anybody specific, which is unfortunate. Um, Oh, I guess I can't change that. Pass to next week. Yeah, I'm. Unless I, I don't know. Just because it's a class thing, I'm thinking of just going ahead and saying no to it. If anybody, uh, it's it's hard when when the assignments weren't yours to stay feel connected to it. I don't know what got on that. Some cemetery stuff. How's everything in Portland? Beefster and Birdwatcher. Hopefully things are going well. Pass, yeah. It's probably one of my um, more, you know, classical kind of draw pencil drawing. Um, I don't really, I just don't think it would be worth framing up. It's so big. Um, maybe it would if somebody really liked it. This goes with the other one we, I found yesterday. So I did, I was for a while I was doing these really cartoony, really bright colored. Um, you frame that last one. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I, If it wasn't so big, I'd really consider it. I guess I should still consider it, but I mean, I, uh, that's the only thing that's kept me from doing it. Yeah, the spooky gothic stuff, yeah. I, I do like the, I do like how it looks. So I'm gonna have to try to find a good, maybe I'll, I'll get the dimensions and I'll look for that kind of frame. Video game worms. Oh yeah, totally. I see that. Yeah, I had so much fun with this style. Um, I might be one of the only people that really like it. I've kind of determined, but um, the cartoony and the colorful and then the playfulness of it, um, I really enjoy. But it's, you know, I don't know. I haven't, you know, found a ton of other people that like love that. So. Yeah, so somebody has passed away. Um, and you can see they're they're under the ground and they're reaching out still trying to like reach their uh their loved one. So it's kind of like a family. 
grieving over this character that or person in his past. Brian says frame. All right. I, it goes with the, let me find the other one. You guys can tell me if you think that, uh, And this one got a little dirty, but. So they kind of go together. I mean, they're definitely part of a, um, a style that's consistent. It's hard to get that in there. Yeah, they could be a good set. We'll see. I, I'm i going to keep them together. Good feedback. I appreciate it. I will keep them in the frame pile and then see. Basically, what I might do is mock frame them. So I'll you know find a good frame on, you know, and like you put them in there on, in Photoshop. And then if anybody uh, wants them, then I can actually frame them up. Um, or maybe they could be, so Sarah, if you are watching um, still, remember if anything, any of these you think would be good for me to frame up to put in the house. Well, you let me know. Because some of these, well, I'll have a whole stack that you can look through too. This is a, a another ride for a ride, the concept of like a turtle on a baby on a turtle. Um past the next week yeah I, I think this one one of the, my favorite parts is just this dark this dark black with these kind of brown lines I thought I just think that's like a super nice color combo um, you like the ride for a ride for it yeah that that could be a good one for in the house I'll put that in the maybe frame pile um, this was probably my favorite drawing that I did um, as far as technically. I just really liked the shading. Um, I don't think it deserves to necessarily be framed, maybe. Um, but I really liked the three-dimensionality of it. I was proud of it. There's something wrong with the guitar, though, I think. It doesn't look like it's sitting correctly. But the shadows and the everything like that is really nice. Yeah, it could be one to just photograph and let go. Yeah, because I don't know. I just don't know if it would be worth ever framing. Because um, it's just a still life. It's not like a narrative beyond that. Okay, so. There. This kind of probably falls in the similar thing, right? So it's just like, it was a class project. I was, you know, proud of my ex, or my uh, execution um, of the bags, but I don't feel it has much, uh, you know, was glad to paint the bags. Photo, I think this might be a photo and let it go as well. No, no. Okay, this was a, so the Animal Kingdom painting, this was one of the drafts. This actually was being proposed at one point to go up very large in a library. And I ended up doing a painting of this Actually, it wasn't this layout. Um, it was a little bit different. Um, but it was really just a test for combining all the animals. You know, like the, I really was trying to get a way to do a polar bear's leg in the ant, the, in the bunny. Cool. Took you would you would you like this one? I 
Awesome. Thanks, Beefster. Yeah, this series, uh, okay. Going in Took's pile. This one is going to be able to be rolled, I think. I'm having a harder and harder time walking through here now. <laughs> yeah, those I love those animals. You know, it took one thing too is that I have two, actually three, three of that series, the larger ones, hanging in a um, restaurant. One of them sold, so there's either two left or I still might have three. But um, of that series, like larger ones, hanging up in down in Portland. And I the the very large one, the really huge one got got sold. Sarah helped with that. Self portrait. Here's a cubist um style figure. <laughs> frame the self portrait. I don't know if I should frame that one, Sarah. It is voting day. You get to pick. I'm putting it in the pile. Dang, two people want me to f frame it. Trash the Cubist one. Does everyone agree? Get rid of it. Okay. Goodbye, Cubist one. This is a, uh, I barely remember this. This was um, 2003. Not sure what the narrative here is. I see a cat and a person. Finish the Cubist one. Yeah, I could. I can see that. Got two trashes and a and a and a finish on that one. Yeah, I don't. I like there's. This was back to that you know combination of shapes that I was doing. Um, there's something about those I like, and they're definitely like my style. But I also. You know, I don't know if the execution is excellent on it, so. Maybe it's the colors that I like and don't like at the same time. I'm not sure. Pass on it. Sounds good. Pass it. Okay. Um, here's another... Uh baby a little toddler I think <laughs> needs more eyeballs yeah probably true here's a tribal tribal piece that I don't does anybody like the tribal one because yeah, I've kept on, I've kept this for a while. I just don't know. Um, I don't know if it's the, the cream background that is off-putting about it or what.
Three vo is that three votes finish for the cubist one? Yeah, do it on gray. I think that could be good. What about this uh, baby? Here's another one of my still lifes that I did. I think it's it's fine technically, and you know I just don't know if anybody would want want still life drawings. Um, with the half faces, oh this one, finish it on this one. Cause I have, if I have three finish it's on this one, then I'm gonna, I am gonna work on it some more. Cool. All right. Um, people wanted to get rid of this one, right? Get rid of that one. Last few minutes and then we'll do the drawing and close it out. I still have a decent stack, so probably 50 more pictures. So that I'll finish up a couple more now and then I'll save the rest for Thursday. And Thursday is gonna be, next Thursday is gonna be fun because we'll be going, I'll basically be going really fast through the trash pile and see if anybody wants to like move it out of there. So basically it'll be like, here's the ones I'm, I'm going to destroy. Um, either do a fire or something like that. And then, um, and I'll go really quickly through that. And then if anybody saves those ones, then whichever ones get saved or say that they want to, um, do more voting, then we're going to go through the whole pile that I've been putting aside. Um, I've got a good stack of, um, ones to frame. And, and then we've got a couple more piles that I didn't get, that I went through last night that I still need to go through with everybody. So, um, okay, we got a, a frame and a trash. Is that for this one? Sarah, are you uh, saying that for this, this guy here? Okay, so a frame and then we got a trash from Took. Anybody else, what do you think? This is the next one's gonna be, this is gonna be a mother with child next. Okay, Brian also has a trash on this one. Okay, so we got two trashes in one frame, so I'll put that off to the side. It's kind of... I'll let, Sarah, I'll let you see it in person. Oh, Molly says frame as well. I'll let you see it in person, Sarah, so you can, uh, Decide if you think I should frame that one up. Um, so this this one uh, is, I think the conceptual element of the mother with child is interesting, um, but I think the the gray just doesn't work um, with it. It's just not it's not enough of a character, right? Looks like everybody agrees. Trash trash on this one. Okay. Thank you, Casey Took. Uh, couple more left. Okay, we'll do uh two more. Let's see. We'll do this one and two more. Seated figure.
Took's got a trash on that one. Okay, it's there as well. That's enough. <laughs> Screaming baby. So this will be the last one we'll end on too. It's another screaming baby. This one is my personal. <laughs> Got a trash, trash in that. There's, there's like a almost a Ren and Stimpy quality to that. This one, for that I, I just there's something cart the cartoonish element of that. This, this one, the I hear Sarah laughing downstairs. So, uh, Brian, which one, the uh, orange one or the blue one for frame? Trash on the one I'm holding. Yeah, does anybody uh anybody dis disagree about this one? The the one I'm holding for trash. Trash the orange. Okay, orange is gone. Frame the blue one. Yeah, this one's pretty funny. Look at his look at his wimpy little arm right here. That's I like that wimpy arm, and then the squishing of the foot. He's in distress, but he's cute. Okay, awesome. So that that's where I'm gonna I'm gonna end for today. Um, so anybody else that wants to, I've got Brian and Casey in the drawing um anybody else um want to join in on yeah he's got that other hand up here looks like definitely looks like a foot <laughs> that's very true um like yeah how are those not those look like toes way more than fingers he's funny okay um anybody else want to be entered into the drawing just do um hashtag prize and I'll enter you in. Yeah, the one tooth. That does crack me up too. Great, and thank you everybody for uh, joining in. So for the prizes, we've got first pick goes to Casey. So Casey, you have a choice of these three print. So there's four, di five different things to pick from. You can either get the Ruth Bader Ginsburg foil print, the Outbreak foil print. Um, you can check these out also on Etsy if you want to look at them a little closer, um, see which one you'd like. Um, Hesimals foil print. And then we've got the Teddy Spider enamel pin. And I'm going to do the second drawing as well here. Brian Fulagi, you get your set. You get second pick. So, um, 
whatever Casey doesn't pick, you can choose from. And then PBL Robots, card and dice game that I created with Silas. Um, those are your five choices. Let me know which one you'd like, and then if you can uh, send me, I might do. I don't think I have your address, so if you could send me your address too. So Casey wins. Brian. And thank you everybody for uh, for joining in. This has been a lot of fun. Um, and I am going to make this a video so that people can go through and scroll really quickly um, to see the different artworks in case somebody wants to claim something. Basically, it's going to be like a one week um, period. Um, and if you before next week, if you select one of the things that you want, if you're a patron, you can um, claim some of the artwork. Um, and add it to your rewards pack. Casey, did you make a selection? And it will be good. So you got one week to, I'll, I'll get this one up eventually. It's gonna take probably a long time to load. Um, but um, I'll let people, oh here, let's see, shop. That sh I think that link should work. Um, yeah, I think four of the things are on there. So, yeah, invite friends so there's more people to vote. That would be great, and I that's a great idea. And it would just be really good to get uh, another set of eyes on it. And the video I'll get out to the patrons um, so people can kind of scroll through. Um, you know, hopefully can watch it quickly because and just kind of see each piece. And, and if any of them stand out to you, you can claim them and you'll have one week to do so. And then next week we'll go through one more time. And then maybe I'll make a video of that one really quickly too. Give one or two more days and then I'll do um, some kind of a destruction of the pieces. So um, the, the Hesimals, this one here, great choice. Yep, there's only there's not that many of these ones left too, so good, good, good selection. So that you got it. And Brian, what would you like for your rewards or your prize? Add it to your uh, rewards. <laughs> 